shake up our world. On today's show, we talk about 50 things to do before you die. We all have bucket lists, things that we want to experience. We talk about that today. And then later on, I talk with Boston Bruins superstar Milan Lucic about what he thinks about fighting in hockey. Stick around. We're going to have some fun. Next up on P3, I talk with Boston Bruins star player Alan Lucic about seeing himself in video games, fighting in hockey, and his days playing the saxophone. Growing up in Vancouver to playing with the Vancouver Giants of the WHL, Milan Lucic has dreamed of being a professional hockey player. Now a key part of the Boston Bruins, he can also be seen on NHL 10 from Electronic Arts, which is a lifelong dream of his. I spoke with the NHL star at Electronic Arts in Burnaby, British Columbia. Uh, you're a hometown guy. It's uh, kind of fun having you here at EA. Uh, one of the things I want to ask you is this. What point in your life do you go, man, I've made it. This is amazing. Uh, I guess uh, right now, I think, uh, you know, when you get into the video game, uh, you know, as a kid, <laughs> you know, that usually means that you're there and yeah. you've made it. So, uh, you know, as a kid growing up, you were always uh, playing video games. and uh, especially you play this? Always played NHL. Yeah, really? That was my favorite game, always growing up. And... Uh, you know, to finally be in the game, it's right. uh, like you said. Yeah, I, I was it. watching you actually play. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm on the Boston Bruins. Here I go. Yeah, is that yeah. weird? Is that surreal? Well, I was trying to get myself a, get myself the puck all the time right. to try to score, but uh, I was unsuccessful in the game that I played. But uh, I mean, I'm gonna get a get a copy of the game and oh, take sure. it home, and uh, yeah. I'm sure I'll. Usually, uh, usually you make yourself the leading scorer. Yeah, for sure. Everyone usually does that, right? One of the new things in this year is they have fighting in the game, right? Yeah. uh, It makes it really realistic. Um, A lot of people kind of wonder if is hockey should hockey have fighting? That's kind of been a debate. How do you feel about that? How do you justify it for kids? Well, I think so. I I mean, uh, you know, it's you know when you once you get to the level where uh, you know you're able to do it, I think you know. I think it's a part of the game. It's a big part of the game. I think it needs to be in the game, uh, or else, uh, you know. I think it, as much as as people think fighting is barbaric and all that type of stuff, I think it, it makes it less barbaric because I think there's less stick work and there's less guys taking cheap shots at one Maybe another. Maybe safer, really. Yeah, you know, because there's less there's less cheap shots. I think in the game because right. there's the consequences of fighting hap- yeah. ha- happening after. And I think, uh, and also, I think fans love it. You know, when yeah. they're at the game. Everyone gets all jumping in yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know the players get feel yeah. the momentum rush from it and all that type of stuff. So uh, I think definitely it's a, a big part of the game, and I think uh, it should always stay. Has there been moments when the coach has said, "Okay, get out there, get the, get the, get people into the game," and you know that's what you got to do? Uh, you know the coach coach has never ever uh, told anyone right, to fight. Right. You know players take it into their own hands and they place it themselves. Right, and you yeah. know. You're like, yeah, I gotta so, bring something here. We're not, we're, the guys aren't, you know, coming together. We need to bring some heat. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's and a lot of the times it's mostly just sticking up for yourself and sticking yeah. up for your teammates, and uh, that's usually how it happens. Have you always loved hockey? Always. I've, that's, growing up. Growing up, it was always my favorite sport. It's always what I wanted to do, and uh, you know, it's great to be uh, here doing it. How important? You're close to your family, living close. How important is family to you, and uh, is supporting you in this? You know, it's uh, real important. I think uh, any athlete will always tell you that the support from the, that they get from their family is, uh, you know, so it's it's always a big part of your success. And uh, you know, they've always been real supportive of me, and they've uh, always helped me out along the way. Do you have anything that you do uh, as you get prepared for a game? Any kind of way that you focus, meditate, anything like that that you kind of helps you get focused? Well, it's uh, kind of like a switch that you turn on and off. Yeah, uh, you know, for me, uh, you know, you kind of, you know, I kind of get. I like to, you know, I like to feel loose and get my yeah. body all loose and whatnot before the game, and uh, you know, um, and it's usually not till, uh, you know, 
before warm-ups, uh, you know, I really get do 30 minutes before warm-ups, so I get my head into it, get, right. really get in the zone, and uh, you know, usually, uh, usually on my first shift, I like to get go out there and throw a hit. Right. Yeah, and that, that gets you in. Then it gets me right in the game, and that's oh, how that's everything amazing. goes. One last comment: I heard you were an amazing saxophone player in high school. I was, uh, yeah, I was pretty good. You could bring it. Could, yeah, I, I could the saxophone it. right now? Could you bring it? I haven't played uh, since uh, since grade ten, so uh, really? it's pretty tough. Yeah. Uh, you should bring the saxophone out. I would, but I'm out of reeds and they're all dried up. And I mean, I'm gonna get you some just, reeds, and I want you playing uh, in the dressing room one day. Uh, Thanks a lot, man. We'll see. Great. Thank you. All the best. All right. More P3 right after the break.